Hello and welcome to another edition of your favorite parliamentary news magazine program, The Chamber, right here on City TV. Parliament is still on recess, at least for a little over a month for them to come back. But while they're on recess, we will continue our series of engaging former MPs, finding out how they're doing, life after Parliament, and um, what they also think in relation to matters of interest in the country, contemporary governance issues. We believe they have a lot to still contribute in terms of how they think governance and other matters should be dealt with. This week, we have another very interesting personality. We'll unveil him after we're back from the break. Stay with us. You're welcome back from the break. My guest, this edition, is your noble Ebenezer Nati, former MP for Ablikuma Central. Welcome. Thank you, brother. Oh, it's been a while. Yes. Sir. Thank you for um, <laughs> warmly welcome, welcoming us to your to your office. Thank you. What have you been up to? It's been it's two years since you left Parliament. Um, two years. Um, no, I think one and a half. One and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Just schooling. Mm -hmm. At the same time, doing one or two businesses that we used to do before okay. um, coming into Parliament. So. Yeah. That's exactly what we are doing now. Great. Uh, so, so tell us how it all began, where you were born, where your parents were, which schools did you go to? Um, I want to get to know you. I was born in uh, Accra, okay. to be precise, um, Abosokai. Okay, yes. Yes, this, yes, were, this is so yeah, true yes, from, this, uh, from my house. And my parents are late, oh. but I lost my mom just about, about next week is exactly a year. Oh, That's, condolences. I, um, yes, I lost my mom. I lost my dad um, somewhere 2014. Mm. Yes, um, I began my school at um, Abosokane um, from Crutch, um, Florence Nursery School, mm. then went to St. Anthony's okay. uh, Preparatory School. Um, then my uncle, Mr. Charles Ado, who Currently, as a far service, okay, was then teaching at Alta International School, okay. Alate Biokoshi. Okay, so I have to move from Saint Anthony's to, to go to Alta um, International. So, in fact, then I think when I got to class four, about to go to class five, then he got the admission at um, far service. Mm. So then we have to leave um, Alta International School from class five, and I came to Abuso kind. Uh, Methodist Primary, mm -hmm. where uh, I didn't get the admission at class four, neither class five. So I was just straight to class six. Oh, wow. So uh, it's it speed up my education mm. for me. Then I continued at Abosokai, AO2 JSS. Then from there, I went to uh, Straight Drew. After Straight Drew, um, Swiss School. Swiss School, yeah. Okay. There was some sickness here and there. So I came back to one technical school in my area here, Modern School of Just Okay. And then from there, we able to continue at Kia University, okay. where I did building technology wow. somewhere in 2001. Okay. And I finished in 2005. Mm. And after that, uh, I did my service. Um, where? I did my service. In fact, initially, I was posted at... Uh, Obwasi mm -hmm. Municipal Assembly. Okay. But when I got there, they were... They to have join no, with their uh, engineering department, yes. I guess. And there were, there were no accommodation. Mm -hmm. So I have to leave in Kumase. And, and in go the to morning, work in Obwasi? Go to Obwasi. Wow. So I got to Obwasi, I was like, look, I can't. It's not so I came back to another service for reposting. And I was brought to uh, Islamic Education Projects. In fact, when I heard a name, I thought that... It's an office mm. where um, <laughs> there will be money coming yeah, from, from yeah, um, the, the these, Islamic community. I'm telling you. And uh, so take your letter to their office. Yeah. So where is their office? So I also can send Tramox. So I know the place. Mm. I send a letter there. So this place, well, this is what we do. Mm. We try to teach um, at the various Islamic schools. schools. Wow. So in that sense, you're going to teach? Exactly. But looking at my relationship with the director then, mm. uh, it's called Malamisa. And they said, okay, let me do some administrative work at the office, office for them. So I was there for some months, and then I was like, no, you have to be sent to 
the, the classroom. classroom. So I was sent to a school at Sukura, um, Geda Makaranta, to go and teach there. But, so, but you have no, I mean, from what you just told us from your educational history and all of that, you have no proper Arabic Islam. No, 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 I was teaching uh, social studies and okay. English. Okay, yes. at the Makaranta? At the Makaranta school, yes. Interesting. Because they have a, a primary and a GSS yeah, okay. as well. Mm -hmm. And they do the Makaranta on Saturdays. Saturdays. Okay. Yeah, because they used to do the Makaranta throughout the week. Mm -hmm. But when they decided to do the formal education, education, then they decided to do the Makaranta on Saturday. So after the service, you know, employment issue. From Ghana. So I have to do voluntary service. Service for another year. For another year at the same place. So somewhere in 2007, then my mom had an encounter with Onabu Akumia, and I don't okay. think he even Onabu. know about this. Mm. Um, then, so I should come and see him. So I went to his office, and then he said, okay, fine, he will try to work out something for me. And then the following week I was there, and then the constituency organizer then at Kokankwe South mm -hmm. called, that oh, um, you have been able to get an employment at Land Title Registry. Hey. So, wow. So, wow. We moved to Land Title. So I was at Land Title to 2011, where I decided to resign mm. and contest. Um, in 2011? 20, yes. Wow, okay. So you worked at the Land Title Registry from up and about 2011. 11, from 2007 to, 20, to 2011. That's about four or five years. Yes. Okay, I yeah. see. What, what, what do people do at, at, at what, what, what does it entail? working at the land title register of course you have to verify and register people's lands and areas. but really what what do you do and how different is your work from what the lands commission do no the land title registry is part of the, the lands, lands Com commission okay um in fact, currently they are called land registration division, division of, the, so we of, have, the lands of the lands commission so we have the lands commission itself we have the land title we have survey department and then we have the land valuation board okay so these three uh, four departments made up of the Lands Commission. Mm. So my work at the Land Title Registry at that time, I was with the Records Department, where we trace every document of yours. And if you want, if after you have submitted your document for registration and everything has gone through, then the Record Department keeps your copy of the documents that you have brought for the uh, registration. It is land that, that gives you a certificate on your land. Mm. So I was at a record department. And then I think I was there for about uh, some five or six months. Mm. Then um, one guy who was in charge of publication, objections, and other um, work at the client service department mm -hmm. have to travel to think India or China mm. to do some yes some training mm. so I was there and then um, my boss at mm -hmm. the record department says that um, this guy has moved and they want to take somebody to that, that, department. that department so looking at the number of us in the records department he wants to recommend me so that I move to that place mm -hmm. and honestly um, that place is a very hottest place. Ah, really? <laughs> it's very hot. For, for what reason? Um, if you want your document to be published, that's where you have go to. to ah. If there's a litigation on your land, that is where you have to. I see. So, like, that's the a lot of interest. A, the heart, the, the, the heart of the establishment. I'm telling you. So people have so much interest. In fact, I I hear people talking about it. Oh, Jerry is going, and I want to go here, and this person. Ah. So when I was recommended, it became an issue. Mm. And people started really politics into it yeah. because to be honest with you, at that time my boss there is an MPP person. Yeah. And honestly, we don't discuss politics. politics and she yeah. doesn't even know I'm also into yeah, politics. Yeah. But she lives at Dansuman. Mm. And at that time I don't have a car. So when she closed, I just joined her. Ah. So the woman just liked me. Ah. No, but people will say, well, I don't <laughs> use the word nepotism or, <laughs> or familiarity. Yes. But sometimes, well, because the person can trust, it's just oh, natural. Yes. And in fact, at that time, the, the director at the client service departments, 
Mrs. Atta JP, um, she's now also a lawyer, mm. and she was not, she was not happy because ah, but this guy is just came yeah. and no 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 the ones. Then he said, oh, you tried him and let's see. And honestly, she became my best friend wow. in the office. Everything I have to go and discuss with her. Everything she will call, even up to today, anything she will call me. Even can you do this for me? Mm. Can you do this for me? And sometimes I also fall on her because mm. now thank God she's also a lawyer, yeah. so also fall on her for some sort of um, advice and other things. So that's where, and then in 2011, um, decided to, I decided to... Um, man, that must have been risky. Very risky. 2000, very... Because 2012, is that when the incumbent for the constituency decided he wasn't going to run again? No, no, no. That's the second that was, that, that's that's the second when, That's when Tetsuya yes, was going for his yes, second term. Yes, so you came second. to challenge him? I came to challenge him. Wow. And it, it, was, it was... But, but uh, what went into the decision for you to say... I'm a young man. I've barely worked in this place. Very good job. Very well respected job. I mean, working with the Lands Commission is very prestigious. You've been very. here. Yes. Very. <laughs> it comes with all sorts of. Very, I don't want to go very. there. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for you to decide to leave working at the Lands Commission to get into a risky, uncharted water, especially at a time when your party didn't, well, your party was not in power one. Yeah. To, um, there was an incumbent who was, was very strong, very well respected, the greater courage in NDC caucus and the rest. And I think at the point he was even chairman of Roots, yeah, Roots and Transport, Transport Committee, Committee, Committee of Parliament, yeah, a very yeah. powerful position, yeah. you know. So, why, 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 what, what went into that decision? Um, honestly, through my childhood, I like politics. Okay. Um, through from primary, from GSS to the university, I've been holding positions. Which which positions are there? Did you hold at the various levels? Oh, as 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 you know, from primary school prefect, session leader, <laughs> school prefect, yeah. assistant school prefect. Mm -hmm. um, when I got to KNUST, I was part of Nuzjin, okay. Presbyterian Methodist Nuzjin, Union, yes, okay. and we we're trying to build a hostel at that time. Okay. For Presby Better Day Students Union. And I was the chairman of the planning okay. committee. Yeah. So I was like, ah, looking at this, and you know, university, and I think that was my second year. Wow. Yes, that was my second you year. You were given such yes. a project to yeah. handle. Yeah. yeah. Well, beating, so. Yes. Uh, despite that, honestly, when. Of course, your character also counts for yes. them to give you such a project. Yes. Uh, and I try to involve myself into a lot of things. Mm. More especially if I know this man to be a very big man mm. and I have a little encounter with you. I mm. try my possible and maximum best to build a relationship nice. with you. So, I mean, that kind of uh, politics mm. was built in us. And according to my mom, when I was young, um, I like this kind of always for trying to follow mm. uh, politics because my house is uh, purely political house. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Where? Um, oh, both Matena and Patena, okay, yes. Matena and Matena. They all like politics. Same party? Or different party? Same party, yes. Same party. So, it's an few. So, if, if it happens to be from a different party, you become like a, a, an outcast in a, in, in a family. So, it's an MPP I family. I remember a, a cousin of mine who pasted NDC um, mm. sticker in front of his door. Yeah, that's a when the guy wake up in the morning, my grandfather was sitting in front of his, <laughs> his door. Then he asked him to go and pack his things. Leave leave the house. House. Oh, that <laughs> really? I, we didn't understand. So I was like, but, but what, is there, what has any, he done? Is there, is there any trail as to why the family is MPP like that? The family well, is, is, is MPP is, is because Rollins of is, exactly. Ah, okay. In fact, as for my mom, he, he, she hates anything NDC. Because according to her, she had two miscarriages during Rollins' administration. She was beating from the and so that kind of pain is there. In fact, my the my mom, their second born wife, happens to be the current queen uh, market queen, okay. uh, Afro Anija, mm. and she contested with Akomia in two thousand, I think either two thousand eight or two thousand and twelve. Mm. My, ha my uncle, who takes care of the family, mm -hmm. but I can tell you the entire family was against the woman. Wow. All because she's it's an NDC. Even my, fam my uncle couldn't have the gas to even join her in the to, campaign. To, to campaign. All right, but, but so uh, was it on, uh, so, okay, well, so obviously M MPP in the blood all through the years, but when did you take active but steps? My dad to... was an NDC. 
Oh, how? <laughs> That's why I said the Matena and my yeah. Matena. No, how in the sense that from what you've described, I mean, I don't want viewers to get me wrong, but I was asking, oh, how? Because probably, I mean, well, it happens. Mother, different party, father, different no, he's, party. He's NDC, but not truly True NDC. NDC or, it's just uh, a sympathizer. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, just like. Party. But at the moment I decided to contest. He then came you, to support you. In fact, it happened even in 2012. Uh, most of my relatives that I know to be NDC, okay. who are even holding NDC position, as soon as I became a candidate, they resigned from their position. Wow. Even in Ablokma Central. That's good. So that's, that's <laughs> solidarity. Anyway, but did you begin from campus, TESCON? Which I yeah, I was to... not so much active with TESCON mm. when I was in KNUST. Mm. Because when I was in school, most of my attention was on, was the on academics, the books. academics and, and big... also religious uh, programs, programs yeah. uh, i was so much occupied with news gym pmsu programs almost mm, all the time mm. so i don't even in fact i think i'm i went for tesco meeting once mm. and that was all that was it that was it that was it i see uh which which one were you in hey, 251 <laughs> <laughs> i was I in 251 so i think it wouldn't be bad to ask you what you think about this recent clashes on campus between Conti and Katanga and the decision to abolish JCRs and all of that on tech campus. In fact, um, I was I was out of the country when I saw the, the uh, these... Uh, so I, in fact, I met one of my colleagues in Denmark. I, mm. I just returned, just a, mm. exactly today's mm. week. And we're, discussing, we're in the same room, mm. Collins. We're in the same room. Um, so I was like, ah, Charlie, look at what is happening. Honestly, Unity Hall is not like Katanga. Because mm. Katanga, no, everybody you, knows. No, you, no, oh, no, 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 no. no so if I, people, people always refer to Unity Hall as a female wall. Uh, because honestly, they are not so giddy, giddy people and all those kind of things. But Katanga, as everybody, everybody, everybody will wish that you will be uh, uh, in Legon Vanda. and go to, go to Vanda. Yes, so that's... That's how, so I was surprised. And for me, I think that um, decisions being taken by the authorities, mm. to me, I think that it's too harsh. Okay. That's, I think they need to look into it for the second mm. time and mm. see how best some of these things um, will resolve. But you see, the kind of thing that is happening, in fact, the first time I visited a university, at that time I finished with SS, mm. and I visited a friend of mine in Legon. Mm. I didn't know how students yes, operate like, in the university. Yeah. So when I got there, I think they were doing some hallway mm. and they were selling drinks. They were, I mean, I was like, ah, Michael, what kind of life is this? A school? And look at what you're, so I said, you don't worry, let's go. So when we got to his room, then he said, let me tell you, you just finished SS. You'll be going to the university. University is a whole world. You, uh, freedom. You do everything that you want. I thought initially, I thought that at the university, you would just be treated just like uh, um, SS. SS. So, so I, but when I entered the university, I saw oh, then what this guy told me mm. is true because some of the things that happens in the university, mm. but you come to. It's better he stays there. I'm telling you, <laughs> sometimes you come back from lectures and you have you 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 can't even enter your own room. room because there's something going <laughs> no. on in your room. You have to sit down and wait. It's like ah, but this thing doesn't happen. And the second is goes, oh, yeah. but as time goes on, oh, yeah, is that the is, order of the day? So I think that there's a need for, for, for them to look, for, at, for them to look but at who it. are some of your contemporaries at the university, people who in public life, who you are the university around at the same time? The, um, this guy uh, is also also in parliament, um, the MP for um, Eso Jamai. Oh, uh, Ampim. Ampim, Ampim, yes. Ampim. I think he was SRC president. Yeah, he, no, he was the, he was the, um, how do you call it? Um, PMSU, he was a, a university choir Qua, president. Qua. Oh, okay. And then this man, Ankla too. Okay, the, the famous, yeah, he I was, was SRC vice president. Vice president okay. at that time. And then um, there's one guy, he's currently at the UN. Um, oh, Joe, and then oh. some few people. Wow, yeah. who are from the KNSS. All right, we'll take a break here. When I come back, <laughs> we'll look at how it went the first time he, he wanted to get into parliament, and then we'll move on. So that's getting interesting.
Diti TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Hey, welcome back from the break. This is still the chamber. I was still having a uh, conversation with the Honorable Ebenezer Nati. So, Let's now come back deeply into how you be, you began setting up to become, I mean, first or so you now you've resigned. And then you have to contest primaries first yeah. Yeah. <laughs> before you went for the main election. And, um, but first of all, give us an idea. When we say Ablekuma Central, uh, how expansive is the constituency? What are the communities that make up Ablekuma Central? Okay, um, Ablekuma Central is one of the biggest um, constituencies in Ghana, mm. and I think um, as of 20, um, 2016, we're the fourth largest constituency in Ghana, mm. and the second largest constituency after Domi Kwabinga. Okay. Currently, um, I think we are the 16th largest constituency. We have about almost about 120,000 registered voters in Ablikma Central mm. constituency. We have seven electoral areas. Um, Abusokain, Mataiko, Adrianbu, Botri, Mengbete, Latebi Okoshi, and then Mambuk electoral area. Okay. And um, let me, I will say it's a business um, um, district. Uh, districts, mm -hmm. yes. We attained um, municipal status when uh, I came into office, I think somewhere 2018, 2019, okay. when um, the president decided to create more districts. Uh, we were then under the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Uh, when it comes to population itself, we are almost about 500,000. Wow. Yes, almost because a, as a 2010 million. population census, we are around 400 and something thousand. Mm, yes. Mm, mm, mm. And um, as a 20, I think last year population mm. and also census, we are around almost 500,000. Yes. Um, okay. So when you resigned um, then right after you decided to yeah um contest the primaries who yeah. did you come up against um i i contested with the former member of parliament honorable vito kule Norte, okay and also uh, lawyer jonathan Kui, okay. uh, who has also then contested like uh, i think i think that was the second time or third mm. time mm. of con not the second time because I'm time. told that when he decided to contest the first time he was disqualified mm. then he contested the second time and he lost mm. so the third time is with mm. me yeah. and then Honorable Vito Kulinote who was then the former member of parliament mm. because he has been a member of parliament for 10 good years yeah. um, our first member of parliament <clears throat> Let me say our second member of parliament because we MPP boycotted in 1996. Yeah, yeah, so in 96 we have the late CS Crab. Okay. Yes, and then uh, he lost. We lost him in 1998. Mm. So there was a by the famous violation. That's the first violation. <laughs> yes, and then Okuli um, Norte yeah. won, and then he won the 2000, and then 2004, mm. and then he lost to Tata Chai in 2008. So we're three mm. um, in number the last time, um, uh, my first time of contesting. Mm. Um, I, was, I was known in one electoral era because I used to live at Mimete mm. and that's where we used to do the MPP meeting in our house. Oh, okay. So those people know me very well mm. before moving to this place. Mm. So when I moved to this place, in fact, at, at that time, I was there in the university. Mm -hmm. So when I come back and I started this mm. uh, building. Mm. So one day I came out of the gates and I saw some people moving. I saw MPP mm. on their neck. So I asked one of them, oh, so we are going for MPP meeting just here. I was so, okay, I'm also an MPP person. Mm. So, so I want to join with you. So I went with them. 
So at, at the meeting, I realized that looking at the number and where we do the meeting, the place is too yeah. small. So I told her, oh, I just live down here. So you can come and see if we can be having a meeting in my house. Mm -hmm. So two people were dedicated to come, Auntie Mary and then Mr. Mensa. Mr. Mensa, we even buried him about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So they came and they said, oh, this place is good. We can come and have our meeting. So the following week, they started having the meeting. So That's I was part point, yeah. with them. And then I think somewhere 20, uh, that was in 2009. Mm. So somewhere 20, 2010, 2011, when we are going to have a new set of constituency police station executives. Um, and I contested for co as a coordinator. Uh, for the electoral mm, yeah. area, but I didn't had anybody contesting me. Where there's only other where we're supposed to have two coordinators. Mm. So one person was contested, but I had the opportunity to just go on a post. I don't think I, I don't know whether because they were using my house for a meeting <laughs> or something. But uh, it's possible. Yeah, so and when I had the opportunity to be the coordinator, I was able to work strongly with other coordinators. Mm. Brings in fact, they were all older than me. Yeah. So I try that we come up with ideas, mm. we come up with things that we're doing. And in 2011, in fact, I was then supporting Loyakui. Okay. But this, his son is the former MC for Amasama, Atukui. Okay. Okay. Atukui uh, mm. Kui. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and the, the son contested with the other child during their primaries okay. in 2007. So, he was NDC? Yeah, he was NDC. So, I heard that, oh, the son want to come and contest with the other child again. Mm. And at that time, I know for sure that definitely when we go for primaries, Lawyer Kwe will win mm. hands down. Because at that time, he and then Okuli. So definitely, I know that Akwe will definitely defeat Okule. Mm. So I told our current regional secretary, Paka, mm. who is also close to us, so Paka, you know, we are in the same camp. And the Akwe have the chance of winning. Mm. But I'm hearing this Okule, uh, the, son. the son also want to come and contest with the Dachai. And at that time, the NDC too were having issues with the Dachai. Mm. I was like, oh, definitely the son so comes. To be a father and son. Exactly. So we should talk to Atukwe to see if he can step down. Other than that, some of us will come in. So it's like joke, like joke, mm. like oh, I didn't take it serious. So uh, I saw I took quick doing one or two times also knock. Let me also. So I decided to contest. contest. So I was there with Paka said, Paka, ah, even this is your MP issue is becoming uh, an issue. People mm. are just talking about us. Oh really? Don't do that. When you do that, it will not mm. uh, help us at all. So, so get to a point as a look, let me go and give it a try. And lo and behold, my first attempt, you won. and I won. Beating those two giants. Yes. <laughs> wow, what did the trick? Um, I think my Especially message... Especially the fact that you were, at the time, from the tragedy, what, what you have told us, you were known in two, and then yeah. where you had just come to. I think my my message, and they realized that um, looking at uh, Tata Chai is a young person. Mm. So getting a young person also to contest yes. with him. And then they were also looking at my family background okay because the abose that we called is my is is my grandfather oh the entire family is a but it's a very big family mm. in um abosokai mm. and my family have also trade with uh, this uh our muslim brothers and mm, sisters for a, very long who, time. for a very long time so it's a very known family mm. and i'm a presbyterian as well very active in church i go to other congregations to preach and all those things so they realize that the religious background to also help. help. So that gives me you take the, all the, boxes. The, 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 the opportunity. Let's look at the main election. 2012, contested uh, Tete Chai. Yes. To, in 2008, Tete Chai won with a difference about almost 7,000. Mm. In 2012, when I contested with him, the difference was 368. Hey! Yes. So you were able to wait till now 7,000 yes. to less than 500. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, probably that explains why he decided not to run yes. again because he realized his <laughs> Anytime I see that's that. what I always tell him. That if you had come the next time, you'd have beaten him. <laughs> so wow. in 2012, 2015, mm -hmm. I contested based on 
the performance yeah. then the people said okay fine let's give you the second time go and try the let's see and then 2016 i contested with i am um, a Ali mm -hmm. a very good friend of mine mm -hmm. and in fact it got to a point i told him that look i don't want us to be going on radio Give and it. tv together because i don't want us to spoil mm -hmm. our relationship but both tata chai and alidu are my friends mm -hmm. um through politics and i don't like politics of tarnaging yeah, image and reputation yeah, sure. yes and then in 2016 by the grace of god i won um with a difference of more than seven thousand mm. and then in 2020 um i lost with a difference of 204. Wow. Um, somebody will ask uh, how come you won with seven thousand and then it looks like you so, like man, this constituency you like seven thousand <laughs> and coming down on yes. seven thousand votes so what happened there are so many things that went into um tell us maybe you've done your, i'm sure you've done your post oh yes we have um one of the things that led us down was that um, currently, as I'm speaking with you, the total registered voters in Abosokai is almost about 28,000. That's one constituency on this one. I tell you. And the turnout of the voters on the 2020 election was less than 15,000. Hey. Yes. Why? Was it a protest vote? Were they angry or something uh, happened and they the, couldn't come There's the dollar issue. And at that time, you know, I think you are in parliament, yeah. you're talking about the savage cars and a oh. whole lot of issues. Oh, 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 apart oh, from oh, that, oh, 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 oh. apart from that, it was a holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah so holidays, they will, yes. people don't come to. They Many people don't shops. come. And some of them also believe that. In fact, our, a friend of mine came here, he worked at Abosoka, he said, look, I can give you about seven or eight people who have about ten shops in Abosoka. Mm. And he mentioned one person, uh, Kofata. Mm. So this Kofata have about ten shops in Abosoka, and every shop we have about five or six people. Yeah. Kofata has decided not to come to vote on that day, so hey. he said we are not coming yeah, to open shop. About Seventy votes. So the person was ah. So if I go crying, I vote cry. Why am I oh. going to get a band to go and take my transport? Mm. I won't go. And majority of them don't live in Abosoka. Yeah, Kaswa. Um, but they uh, work there, so they, they register there. They register there because they spend most of their time there. there. So that's another factor. And then the policies, some of them. In fact, I have had the opportunity it, even to meet with some of the uh, members at Abosso kind because mm -hmm. that's our stronghold. Yeah. This um, banking sector, sector. sector issue. And some of them, this microfinance, and, and so there was. Banking sector but crisis. I tried my possible best, engage them, and all those things. But thank God, some of them were able to get their, their money. Back. Others too were able to get um, support from MBSSI at that time, um, or Batampa. Mm -hmm. Some of them got the opportunity and all those things. So those are some of the things that um, happened. And then small, small party, internal issue. issue, people are not happy. Um, Were there, did you have competition in your primaries? Oh, yes. I contested the um, with one man. I've, somebody just told me, in fact, the person sent a picture. To, but I had a call from one of your sister station mm. that ah, he came to Sukura. He can see the guys mm. posters all over. Why? What has happened? I said, ah, what? I don't know what is happening. Mm. The time is not yet. Yeah, so you don't primaries. need to rush. Yeah. Yes. And there were so those kind of party Scholes. people, you know, MPP, oh, menyashe, menyashe, mm -hmm. and people were expecting so much from the party and all those. So, so there were just petty, 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 petty things. But but, but two hundred less than you know, a little over two hundred is not such a huge margin, especially yeah. when I mean you and the incumbent. Of course, you did this when you were the incumbent. So this 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 would mean that you were not that unpopular. No, 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 no. No, but you go to some functions and then people even still so address you. you. MP. I, I'm telling you. People still see you as an MP. Yeah. If you have come earlier, you will see a lot of people lining up. So sometimes I ask, ah, didn't you know the, the MP's house? I'm no more the MP. So we don't know his house. And I've lived here since 2007. Mm. And that's where I live. Wow. Okay. So, um, let's now zoom in on your time in Parliament. I know you are very active 
I now understand why we were very active on the Lands and Natural Resources Committee. I remember <laughs> um, going on a tour with you to the um, Frafraha Denta, um, the Psychiatric Hospital yeah. Lands when you went. And we were very active on, on the Lands and Natural Resources Committee. But how was your time in Parliament? The four years you spent there, looking back? Um, honestly, sometimes when I look back and I watch parliamentary procedure, mm. and sometimes I try to get in touch with some of your colleagues mm. who are uh, parliamentary correspondents, and I ask myself, ah, what is really happening? Even though we spent four years, mm. we learned a lot of things. Yeah. And there were a lot of differences that I can see in this present parliament. Hey, your, your parliament was a parliament of over 60 majority. <laughs> this is a parliament of a majority no, but of one. I always talk to colleagues. Yeah. I just find out uh, what is really happening. But I met an NEC MP who were all serving on the same committee. Me, yeah. And they said, oh, Eben. I will miss you on this committee. Yeah. So why? And Carol, I'm told that he's a ranking member of the committee. Ah, about Suhini. Yeah. So Ben, I will miss you on this committee. So why? So you that you will be fighting for us and all mm. doing these mm. things. So that that's 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 one of those things. Mm. I mean, things will change. And I have passion for because of my field. Yeah. From Lands Commission and and I remember there was a time we had a, a budget hearing and then we. I think the former executive secretary of Lands Commission, mm -hmm. when they came to meet the committee, and my chairman, Adabo, the one thing that I like about yeah. him, I gave him the respect. Action mark. Because, <laughs> because he knows where I am coming yeah. from. Because he was also working at the uh, Soviet department. Yeah. And Dr. Marfo, mm -hmm. I've also worked with the, um, how do you call it? Uh, he was a lecturer. Yes, and they also worked with the Forestry Commission, Commission. before, and he's in charge of wildlife and all those mm. things. And then George, uh, we we'll call it Olua, mm. uh, Achiansi, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Achiansi, uh, Akroso. Akroso, Akroso he's also into mines, and yeah. so, he, so anytime there's a work, he will leave for the three of us. And then you go to the minority side, where we have Collins, Dauda, who has been a minister. a minister before, he knows everything about yes. Lands Commission. And then Suhini, mm. and then the Rashid people. So yeah. you see the three of us. And that day, Honorable Adabo decided that, oh, I should chair. And I started asking the Executive Secretary questions. Because you know her from the commission. So we were proud using to that, the weak points. Oh, Charlie. Proud to that, too. I went to Lance Commission. <laughs> I met with some of my colleagues that I used so to So you have all so the, I have all the information. So after that, I got to a point, I said, Master, you have to leave and come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So after they left, but then Deputy um, Registrar and Land Title, Lawyer Pojade, mm -hmm. was he was part of the uh, the people that came. So he said when they got up, the man said, ah, that guy was chairman. It looked as if he knows everything mm -hmm. about Lands Commission and hard work and all those things. He doesn't know that you are an he said, ah, you didn't know, you don't know him. I said, no, no, no. I said, ah, he used to be Atlanta. The man said, ah, oh, that's uh, why. <laughs> But as soon as I got to the office, then he called me. And he said, oh, no, but I want to come and see you the next day. So the next day I was in the office, then he came and said, oh, but you know we are... You're one of us. <laughs> <laughs> the job must be done. So after the job, it has to be, be done. done. So, I, so I went to Leopold and I said, Leopold, hey, time changes. So they said, why? I said, ah, when I was here, you used to tell me, hey, ben, go and bring this far, mm. go and do this. Now I'm you, the see, one. you see when you get to me, you see what I was doing to you. <laughs> So that's that, that, that's 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 life, life and then yeah. we just move on. So Parliament sometimes honestly I get so worried, so disturbed mm. about some of the things that goes the on. Fight and the fight and everything. For that day, but I was so sad. Mm. I was so sad. If I yesterday I was listening to one um radio station mm. and they were talking about the nineteen ninety Six twenty seven yeah. parliament and but uh, what did this man's name say mm. and then he said after that parliament you won't get it yeah. so I was just telling a colleague that oh, look our time to we won't get ours <laughs> because when you look at the records in parliament yeah. our time was a time that we have passed a more lot. bills bills yeah, and yeah, so every yeah, parliament did a lot of yes work. every yeah, parliament yeah, have yes. its own unique yes yeah. in their time you have the lights and Anado and all those mm. the debate is mm. there and all those things and so. It's, 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 it's different. But this time, the way and manner people are talking about um, 
parliament, parliament this, parliament that. Sometimes it's, 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 it's a worry. But if you've worked at the land title registry, you've worked on the committee. There's a big problem of land litigation in the Greater Accra region, yeah. multiple sale of lands. In fact, one of the issues, I remember it's one encroachment on government yeah. lands. Yeah. It's one of the issues you really dealt with when you went to a psychiatric hospital yeah. area, poor building. What's really the problem with lands, especially in Greater Accra? We know because of the congestion, a lot of there are so many much scramble for lands. But multiple sale of land, uh, which is even giving birth to land guardism, you buy a land in Accra, you don't dig in fee and all those things. What's really the problem? Um, the, what is creating all this problem is not the fault of government mm. or the fault of the agency. Mm. It's the fault of the chiefs. Really? I'm telling you. And I'll, me, I always say things just as it is. You go to a community. You have our four, five, six people claiming to be chiefs in those. Let me give you one example. My chest is just behind here, uh, my house. Mm. We are building a school there. Mm. We have three different people coming, claiming ownership of this area. And three? They all, yes, three. Three. Uh, as they allow their title owners of the land. And they all say that they did as a, as a digging fee. So that's exactly what is happening. So sometimes when governments want to release land mm. to a particular family, then another family gets up and says that we are also owners of the land. This person also comes, we are also owners of the land. Mm. So who does government hand over to? Mm. So if government hand over to one party, it creates a problem. problem. So everybody entered and do whatever and that they want. One other problem is that the, one of the things that I was seriously on the lands commission is records of state land. Mm. And I can tell you, and I don't hold any apology to them, I, I don't know if by now they have it now. But there was a time I have questioned the, the, the executive secretary that, look, can you get us a data no. of government lands that we own in this country. country? Because I can tell you, every constituency that you go, every constituency, there's a government land. Even here in my constituency, there's a government land. But you go and people have acquired the land, built on it. And you, they can't get the access to go and register because when you go and register, it will not go through because, because it shows when it shows when you go and do the set, it will shows that this is a government acquired in this year for this kind of project. Yes, so it will not go through, and the people just go and build on land. it. This is what is on. And as you said, look at Pantan, mm. just hospital land, and people have built to that. Stuff. And then the most painful thing is that it has not even turned to an apartment being built. All over that side. Go to Cantonment and see. Go to Rich. Go to other places. All those are government lands. All those are government lands. But where is that? In fact, there are some places. Currently, when you go to um, Bottiman, mm. it's a government land. Mm. Affordable house. Affordable house. But people have also encroached. Wow. What you come to Adenta Aviation, mm. it's a government land. People have encroached. Mm. You go to Animal Farm, uh, I, 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 uh, am I here? Mm. People have encroached. You go to Wager, mm. people have encroached. You go to Broadcasting at English Amanfro, people have encroached. I mean, everywhere. And it's the chiefs. Wow. And they will take you, oh. And sometimes, you're also in the hurry. You see, at night, people are building. Mm. And when it, there's a place that I don't want to mention the area. I said, me, if you give me a land there, you know what? I won't take Because, and a friend of mine started having a project there, and I told her, I said, Kwame, you better stop. Because this place, you have your peace of mind. Mm. It's oh, no, 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 no. I said, okay, fine. I said, look, I'll get you a land at Amasama. Mm. I mean, I have a land there. This, I mentioned some of our friends that we mm. have there. Mm. So let's move there. So you, I'll buy that one, but I want to start here. In fact, he has built, he has Lent. finished. Hey, finished. Start building, no. Finish. He came back to square zero. They demolished everything. Wow. He has lived in the state for so many years. All the investments gone, just gone. like that. Well, we'll take a break here. When I come back, we'll to do our final moments uh, in this interview with John Abobinez, and I'll be back after the break. Stay with us.
City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Yo, welcome back from the break. This is still the chamber right here on CCTV. I still have with me the Honorable Ebenezer, not a former MP for Apple Kuma Central. So, Honorable, of course, in, the, in, in a, a couple of years, just a little over two years, there'll be another election. Um, the election is significant in a number of ways because um, that would represent the end of the second term of President Kufuado. And that would mean, number one, that the MBB will have to select somebody. Yeah. To replace uh, him um the party has a lot of history when it comes to that 2007 is still fresh in a lot of people's minds that's one two the party will be seeking to break the eight <coughs> which is which is uh, which was what has been coined by party faithful for i mean the first time to have a government go on to do 12 years in, in office on the other side the yeah, ndc is also listening to come to power after being power, out of power for about eight years and then there is also the fact that uh, someone who's been in office before, President Mahama, looks to be like the sure bet that they will be bringing against a probably new candidate from the NPP. First question um, is, it looks like the MP is at a, is MPP is at a crossroads in terms of who to lead the party. Is this something you share in? Um. <laughs> I know that's, 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 a, that's a tough question. Oh, for me, I I think that, yes, we have no choice than to elect a new person mm -hmm. to replace um, the current president. Mm. And um, he has said that one of the legacy that he wants to leave for the party is to hand over to an NPP elected flag bearer and also an MPP President to handle elect. that one, MVP president. And I share the same view of the president mm. that yes, it's good that we break the eight and then so that whatever we have started will be able to complete. Yes, I've seen the people that have decided to contest mm. for the flag bearership of that party. I've seen the trade minister, mm -hmm. Alan Kojo Tremantin, who has contested on several occasions for the presidents. And I think the la it's only the last primary that he decided not to. Is a very strong person, very admirable person, but people believe that leading the party, it will help us. Some also believe that, yes, um, it's good for the um, the vice president, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Bamud Baumia, to mm -hmm. also be part. Um, she also given the opportunity, looking at the work that he has done as a vice president, uh, when we're in court, and a whole lot of mm -hmm. things that mm -hmm. people have said mm -hmm. about him. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen um, the former energy minister, Boache Japon. Yeah. I've heard about... Um, Kennedy Japon. Kennedy Japon. I've heard about... Uh, a great minister. The great minister. I've heard about Adeni Mo. Yeah. I've heard about... Um, yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, and, um, I mean... A number of people. Who knows? Maybe the next person... That will come, might be Ibn Zanati as a flag bearer. <laughs> <right now. laughs> so, that's how you did it, twenty eleven. You want to throw in your heart. So, for me, I think it's going to be very, very, very difficult decision that we are going to take. Mm. Just as it happened in two thousand and eight. Mm. But I, 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 I also foresee the current administration of our party mm -hmm. led by Stephen and team mm -hmm. and then some people that have been appointed and then mm -hmm. also elected to see how best we'll be able some of I've heard a lot of leading members of this party saying that uh, they will prefer to have a compromise ticket uh, Alan and Baumia, Baumia ticket, yes. which they believe that um, it will sell everything 
some also also believe that yes where, where do you stand where do i stand i stand at the end of the day who the party would appoint as a, <laughs> a, 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 a i see you don't want to get into trouble with the party of course um, but but um who should not in, but if i mean you can decide not to mention any but who do you think in terms of qualities can lead the mpp to break the eight all of them okay alan have the qualities he have the flair he has the international recognitions you have everything dr baumia the same a great minister the same Jugati the same, if I have even forgot oh, to mention his name. name. Jugati the same, former Attorney General, former First Deputy Speaker of Parliament. I mean, all of them have what it takes to be president. Okay, apart from the candidate, uh, our economy has been hit bad. I mean, yeah. it's just this week that by an inflow of uh, some $750 million, we've had some stability with our city over yeah. the last, just last three days. And really, inflation is hovering around over 30% and all and all of that. People think that the economy has been badly managed and the MPP will pay for it in the next election. Honestly, for the past, after Parliament, I have not traveled until mm. three weeks ago. Yeah. And I realized that, yes, the economic situation is not only in Ghana. Oh, so Even the people in Denmark about, are suffering? I'm telling you. Scandinavia? I'm telling Denmark? You, I'm telling you. Really? Where, where, in fact, I have, um, my host was telling me that, look, he pays about 55% of his, 55% um, tax on his uh, uh, um, uh, the salary. I was like, really? I said, yes. Honestly, on our way back from Denmark, when I get to Copenhagen, I bought a bottle of Coke mm. and a pastry. Well, I have it on my phone. Mm. Two bottles of Coke and a pastry, four pieces. Mm. It's 15 euro. And no, I don't want to even convert. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see, I, and they don't use cash. Mm. It's card. Mm. Ma you're either your Visa card or your MasterCard. Mm. And as soon as uh, Stambik 2 always send me mm. the alert. The alert yes. I just saw it. I said, wow. Yes. We, we, I must admit, if I sit here and I told you that all is war, mm. then I'm turning lights. Nice. The system is hot. Mm -hmm. In fact, things are not normal as we are expecting. Mm. But I believe strongly that um, it is not the fault of the president, neither the the finance committee mm. or the economic management committee, mm. but it's because of the challenges that we face Global as a country. Okay. You can, at least, we get revenue from the port. Mm. We get revenue from the uh, airport mm. as well. We closed down for some time. Mm. So it, even if for a week we get thousand cities at the airport and we are closing down for a week, I wouldn't going to oh, get that thousand cities. So it definitely affects the revenue. Yeah. So it is now that things are going to pick up. I believe strongly that, as the president said, we know how to bring back the economy. We, can't, we don't know how to bring back people's lives. So I believe strongly that things will, will, will change yeah, right. and also measures that be that have been put in place cutting mm. down on some expenditures and things i believe that it will make um uh, things work again okay. uh, our major problem we are facing currently that is a mantra and everybody is so worried about it it's our it's our dollar mm. issue and it's, it's it's really it's really affecting uh, business to be honest with you more especially my people at Abosoka. Yeah. i had a meeting with some of them yesterday um when they know that i'm back they pay me a visit and mm. they were complaining no but your dollar no i have to use this amount to do this and now, now i have to use this and all those things. but i believe strongly that um things 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 will change so i mean we'll, we'll bounce back okay let's look at your own ambitions for this constituency <laughs> Is it over? Do, I, should we I, expect a comeback? I thought maybe you have forgotten about that no, question. No, 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 no. We can't live without asking that question. You are young. You lost by um, less than 300 votes. You, um, you still have... I mean, you, you, I mean, we still... People still... A sizable portion of people still see you as... <laughs> as your, obviously, you are not satisfied with the way your successor is handling the constituency. Yeah. Um, in fact... 
I have done some assessments mm. and I've had a lot of people coming to me, both party people and other opinion leaders in the constituency. And more especially when I am sitting at the gate and people are passing looking at the road. So honorable oh, with their fashion and why? Sign bra why? So I well, started work on it. Honestly, since I left Parliament, almost all the work that I started, mm. I still pursue it. Too. Look, this is a document that I received yesterday from mm. the Ministry of Education. Mm. I lobbied for uh, an 18 units classroom block mm. at JT. Mm. And yesterday, in my absence, they brought the drawing and everything. I'm supposed to meet the consultants today. Mm. I still move to the Ministry Department and, As you are still and get work, work done. done. Because at the end of the day, it is not only me that will benefit mm. from it, it's the community. Yeah. So, uh, there's some, somebody, he doesn't move to any place. So, the world become stagnant. I don't want it to be stagnant. Whether I'm in government or not, even if, God forbid, which I know it is not possible, that even NDC come 2024, I will still go and pursue for projects mm. for the constituency. That's, That's what we are supposed to do. Are you coming back in 2024? Um, I'm still looking up to God. I'm still doing some consultation. Um, I hope and believe that um, by the end of this month, I'll take a firm decision. <laughs> Interesting. Speak to your constituents. That's your camera. Final words. Okay. Um, I, loved, I want to take the opportunity to thank the good people of Public Mass Central Constituency for the mandates given to me to serve them uh, for four good years as a member of parliament. And I know they can attest to my leadership in Ablokma Central constituency, that every electoral area in this constituency benefited in one way or the other in terms of infrastructure development. And as I promised them that, look, even though I am not in parliament, I will continue to pursue and bring development in the doorstep of the people of Ablokma Central, and also to make sure we create jobs for the youth in Ablokma Central. Uh, they should count on the promise that I've made to them that will continue to work for central constituency because I always say that this is my hometown this is where I bought this is where I was born this is where I was brought up and we'll continue to support them and I hope that come 2024 the good people of Ablukma central constituency will make a very good decision by retaining the MPP in government and also having an MPP member of Parliament for Ablukma central constituency Thank you very much. Uh, he has uh, said it in not so many ways, but I'm sure he decoded the message. Uh, I think it's you had with me the Honorable Minister Nati from MP for Ablikuma Central um, with me in this edition. Keep watching City TV for the very best in programming. Same time next week, we'll be back on your channel.